Welcome back to BTN Live and welcome to Champaign, Illinois on a glorious homecoming weekend. The Fighting Illini will host Minnesota tomorrow on BTN for their homecoming game. BTN Tailgate, very excited to be here. We'll be broadcasting from just outside the stadium at Grange Grove starting at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Stop number six on our BTN Tailgate Tour. And welcome inside Memorial Stadium. Dave Revson with you getting set for the game and tailgate tomorrow. It has already been an exciting weekend, though, here in Champaign as new athletic director Josh Whitman on Thursday announced the establishment of the first ever Illini Sports Hall of Fame. They will announce the entire class in February, but they did announce the inaugural member yesterday, and it is one of the most famous names in Illinois sports history and, frankly, in college football history, Illinois linebacker Dick Butkus. Let's take a look back at his remarkable career. Dick Butkus played center and middle linebacker at Illinois and quickly became one of the most feared defensive players of his time. Butkus was a two-time All-American for the Illini, leading them to a Rose Bowl victory in the 1964 season while finishing third in the Heisman Trophy balloting. Butkus and Red Grange are the only two players in the history of Illinois football to have their numbers retired. The award given annually to college football's top linebacker bears his name, reflective of just how transcendent a player Butkus was. The Chicago native was drafted by his hometown Bears in 1965, where his success continued. He was an eight-time Pro Bowler and was elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in his first year of eligibility. We will be joined by Dick Butkus tomorrow on BTN's tailgate, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. And I'll be joined by these fellas, too, as I am every week. <laughs> Anthony Adams, Jerry DiNardo. Let's break this game down a little bit. Let's start with Minnesota's on offense. And they are much better there, Spice, than they were a year ago. They were 13th in the Big Ten in scoring last season. They are fifth this year. What stood out about this group? Well, Mitch Leitner is back now, and Rodney Smith has been running out of control. And then they have Shannon Brooks as well. And Rodney Smith is leading the Big Ten in all-purpose yards. So if I'm Mitch Leitner, I'm acting like I'm a pass, but then I'm handing it off to Rodney Smith. You know, Spice, you talked about all the skill guys, and I, and I know you're a big guy <laughs> on the wrong side of the ball, but let's give the offensive line some credit. I mean, yeah. they, they, they've done a really good job. But I think the That's strongest right. unit of Minnesota is their defense, and I think in a game like they're going to play against Illinois, they're going to they're stop the run. They're going to try to make a young quarterback throw the ball. Jay Sauvel, first-year defensive coordinator, has done a really good job, and he calls a pretty aggressive game. Teams are making a lot of mistakes against the Gophers. Last three games, they have forced 10 turnovers. That is tied for the most in the nation in that span. What about on the other side? Illinois, it looks like all indications are Jeff George Jr. going at quarterback again. What kind of challenges does that pose for this offense? Well, you, you know, you hope that he's making some improvement from last week, right? That was his first chance, really, to get in there. But he's going to have to get a lot of help. The, the best way to help a young quarterback like Jeff Spice is to get the running game going. Yeah. And as I mentioned, this Minnesota defense is pretty salty. So th that's going to be job number one for the Illinois offense, protect this young quarterback. Yeah, the Illinois' defense, they're either 11th or they're 13th in the Big Ten. So I said this before. They have great pass rushers on the mm -hmm. outside, but you have to earn the right to rush the pass. I'll say it again. Uh, this is a defense that also forces a lot of turnovers, much like Minnesota's. But other than that, they have a hard time getting off the field. Yeah. Opponents converting better than 58% on third down in conference play against the Illini. That is the worst in the nation. Lots more, of course, coming your way on tailgate Saturday morning, 1030 a.m. Eastern Time. We will see you then from Champaign. But for now, we send it up the road a few hours to Chicago.